Hello everyone, welcome to a new video series called Mill Cosser's Guidebook, where I give gear lists and examples of some characters that military cosplayers may want to cosplay. Today's episode revolves around Akane Kujo, or otherwise known as Alma, the gray-haired 5 foot 4 inch anime girl OC that birthed the AEM-01 combat hoodie. With that out of the way, let's begin with Alma's uniform. Alma's underlayers consist of an Under Armour compression mock. It's meant to keep and retain warmth in cold weather while not sagging or dragging itself up. If you can't find it available, you can always opt for a plain turtleneck. As for her bottoms, she wears Cry Precision MC BK G3 combat pants, or more popular, short shorts and stockings. On her overlayers, she wears of course the iconic AEM01, which is still quite expensive. If they're not available in season, you can always opt for the Backcraft TRN BDU or Han Wild Outdoor Tactical Hoodie, both of which are budget reproductions of the AEM. On top of her G3s, she wears Grey Leg Gators, of which can be found relatively cheap on online seller sites like Amazon. Her shoes, however, are pretty tricky, as they're VKBO combat sneakers. These are Russian exclusive, and considering current events as well as general availability, they're quite difficult to find. And these aren't even the exact model of shoe Alma wears, so it's best to opt for generic gray combat boots. Moving on to Alma's gear, Alma's plate carrier is an XP-10 Slickster. Now unfortunately, due to the current pictures available, I cannot tell how she has it set up. But going off from what can be seen, her plate carrier is configured for LEO Light Counter Terror. She has a triple rifle mag pouch, and on the front of those pouches, a YGP pouch, and two pistol mag pouches. On the rear plate bag, she has what seems to be an assault pack attached. However, on the other artworks, it does not. So it's your choice whether to run it or not. Now, due to the XP-10 being generally a hard to find and expensive plate carrier, other options include the FCSK 2.0s or even the JPC, of which Alma is confirmed to run in one of her non-AEM loadouts. Just remember to build this plate carrier entirely in multicam black. Alma's belt is far easier to assemble as it is a pretty generic setup. She runs a two-layer molly belt, and on the left, she has a rifle mag and double pistol mag pouch setup. And on the back left, she has an MCBK compactable dump pouch, and on the middle of the back, she has a Blue Force Gear Mini Trauma Kit IFAC. On the front right, near the buckle, she has an MCBK tourniquet, and on the right, she has a drop like holster. I can't get the exact model, but these two, the Freedom Drop Leg and the Muddy River Tactical Defender Series Drop Leg Holster both run a minimum of $100. Or if this is getting too expensive on it, you can always just run a basic Cordura Drop Leg. I'm gonna run the Mark 18 URGI with a 9 inch URGI MK16 Gazelle handguard. Her stock is a Core 15 collapsible adjustable stock. She runs an Aimpoint T2 red dot and her front end has a standard Mark 18 tri prong. As for her laser and her light, she has a PEQ 15 Surefire M600 Scout light, both rigged to a pressure switch. The wire is held in place by a cable management strap. As for extra details, Alma has purple eyes, so you may want to get purple eye contacts. She also has a scar on her left cheek. As for her hair, you can always buy a standard gray wig and customize it to match Alma's ponytail short hair. Here's some cosplay examples. And that wraps today's episode. I hope all of you who aspire to cosplay Alma have learned something today. And with that, until next time.